Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support and in this uh, presentation I'm going to show you how to use the crop tool with Corel Draw. I'm in, I'm in Corel Draw X6, however this will work with all the earlier versions of Corel Draw as well. The crop tool will work the same, it's in the same place, so you shouldn't have any trouble using this video with uh, some of the earlier versions of Corel as well. So first off I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about the document. Um, these are some scanned in templates. Um, I say templates meaning that these are products that will be made templates um, from. So we've scanned in some inserts here and I've got three of them on the page but I only want to work with one of them. So to do that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crop out everything around so that I'm only working with one of these three templates or product templates. In the background uh, there's just a cover sheet behind it so we can tell where the template actually stops and starts or the product stops and starts so that we can get the size correct. Uh, now we're going to talk about where the crop tool is. The crop tool over in the left side of your application you'll find all your tools and the crop tool is the third one down. If you hover over the crop tool what you'll see is this uh, sh square shaped object here and within the square shape uh, actually the functions of it are to simply uh, of the toolbar is to simply just click on the actual tool itself if you don't see the tool there what you will see is um, one of these three here. Now in order to find that is to hover over the actual third one down, click on it, hold your left click, scroll down and of these four tools find the crop tool, release your mouse as you're hovering over it and you'll see it highlighted here. You'll also see your menu change with all your tools here your menus will change in the upper menu bar. You have an X and Y you have the length and width and you have a rotation option. Once you start using the crop tool these won't be grayed out anymore. You'll be able to make changes to these uh, in order to better make use of your crop tool. Now what when you slide your cursor over the document you'll see your cursor change to this actual shape here for a cutting tool. Uh, in order to, we're going to crop out this center one here and in order to do that we need to come up to the left hand corner of it or you can go to the right hand corner either way, I start at the left. Hold your left mouse click down and then drag until you have a acceptable area um, boxed in. Now if you want to get closer to the edge of this product what you can do is use your scroll key on your mouse and scroll in. That's a zoom in or zoom out. So wherever you want to scroll in on, put your cursor in that area. Whether it be here, it would scroll in here. So put your cursor here and you'll center in here. So these are nodes and these nodes are things you can uh, put your mouse over and then click and drag. If you grab the corner nodes you will drag with equal proportions the length and width and that doesn't matter which side you're, you're dragging from. So you can see the length and width change simultaneously. If you want to just minimize or maximize the length or width meaning the side or the top edge here you can grab these center nodes and drag them as you hover over them. Hold your left mouse, mouse click down and drag it up or down same here just to get a little closer crop so again to, we're using the crop tool third one down and we're selecting the area in which we want only to be on the page once we've identified that area and to identify that area we put it in a bounding box using our crop tool by holding our left mouse click down and dragging the crop tool over the area in which we're going to work with once we have that area selected Again, you have this menu up here where you can make changes. It's your, your X and Y, length and width, and then your rotation. These are things that you can use 
to better to better size the area in which you want to work with or to be more defined in that area. Once we have the area selected, we're ready to crop it. And to, cr to crop it, just hover over within the boxed in nodes, the area here, put your mouse in there somewhere, and then double click on it like you're selecting something. And as you can see, as we scroll out using our wheel, we have the area in which we've selected just on the page. Using my pick tool, I can change the rotation of this so that it fits on my page better to 90 degrees and press enter. Now I have it at an angle at which I'm ready to work with, centering on my page. Then click outside of the object here somewhere just to get the bounding box off of it. And now I'm ready to trace my product template in with um, my other tools over here as well. So using the crop tool is just that simple. If you have any questions on how to do it or if you want to uh, ask me questions or if you have comments, give me a call here at Condi Systems. My name is Vicki. And as always, thank you for your time.